The ATF on Saturday stormed and broke into a gun parts store in National City, California. This wasn't a gun dealership. This was a parts store. The ATF demanded that Dimitri Karras, the CEO of Ares Armor in National City, California, turn over the names of 5,000 customers who had purchased an 80% lower receiver that reportedly failed to meet ATF specifications. Karras, a former U.S. Marine, agreed to turn over the receivers but refused to reveal the names of his customers. He then filed a restraining order. Earlier this month, the ATF raided the uh, parts creator, Chris Cook. Cook owns EP Armory in Bakersfield and was stunned to find federal agents swarming his home on March 7th. His business also manufactures parts only and does not construct firearms at all. The part by itself is an arbitrary item with no firearm capability whatsoever. But get this, the ATF has declared it to be a regulated firearm and not a firearm part. That's like declaring Napa Auto Parts stores to be car dealerships. After Karras refused to turn over the names of over 5,000 of his customers, the ATF proceeded to um, crack his safe. They actually brought safe crackers with them when they stormed his business. Let this serve as a warning. Even though Mr. Karras was doing nothing illegal, the ATF brown shirts stormed in there ransacked his business, confiscated his merchandise, including his personal computers, cell phones, laptops, and iPads. They're coming for you. They're coming for your guns, and if they can't get the guns, they're gonna take the parts and the bullets.